All right. This evening or morning or afternoon or whenever you're going to be watching this video, I'm going to be looking at this tablet. It is a Amazon tablet. And uh, it's got a problem that's probably going to be a very common problem. I don't know if you can see it there, but the USB port is completely mangled. And uh, this this is kind of a common thing. Um, you know, a lot of kids get these tablets and just plug and unplug in those uh, USB connectors. They get messed up. And so we're going to try to replace this thing. And to get these particular tablets apart, they are pretty easy uh, to get the back off. See, this is a, what model is this thing? It's a L5S83A. But uh, basically all you got to do is just run some type of a pry tool around the outside of this. And just kind of push outward. This is one of the, probably the easiest tablets to get it into. Um, not like the ones where you have to heat up the display with a heat gun and all that good stuff and pray you don't break the screen, which I've actually got one of those videos coming up. I've got a, a phone that I'm going to try to replace the screen in. Never done it before, but we'll see what happens. I'm just going to put these cards in here to... Uh, Keep that from snapping back into place while I pry the rest of it apart. And as you can see, I get these from the iFixit, which is, they've got a lot of good stuff. Put that there, work this around. have to get that in there you'll feel the uh, pieces release on the, there's little clips on the inside there you'll feel those release as you're pulling it oh look at that it actually came on <laughs> didn't think there was really any charge left to that thing This thing's proving to be more aggravating. Oh, there we go. Move that out of the way there and there's the connector that we're after right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this board here and make it easier to get access to because we're going to have to be kind of careful because there's a lot of little things in this area that we don't want to unsolder in the process. There we go. And looks like we got a connector here for the camera under this little piece of Kapton tape. And stick that over there. This is one of the uh, little clips that's similar to the ones on the Nintendo Switch video that I did. You just flip that up and pull that out there. And let's see, that goes there. Let's see if I can pull these wires up enough to where I don't have to actually unsolder them. And looks like looks like I might need to unsolder those. They go actually go to the speakers here, one here and one down on the other side. Well, let's get this piece of tape off here. 
And we have another one of those little connectors. We're just going to drop the tool and pick it back up. You have to be careful with these little things. Flip that up. And then we can pull this straight up like that. And let me go ahead and a little sticker here, a little. This is basically so they know if you've been in it or not. It covers up that screw. That screw was actually pretty loose. I'm gonna have to get that get that unsoldered there. All right, the next part of this is kind of uh, odd the way that you have to get this off. We're going to go ahead and take off this piece of uh, Kapton tape there. And then this whole piece has to be lifted up. It's actually stuck down with double stick tape. But you have to be extremely careful because this is a piece of ribbon. Try to get it in focus there that actually goes over top of this board so in the process of lifting it up here you can easily rip this cable and you don't want to do that so it's going to be tough to try to get this out of this connector you lift that piece up there on the back and carefully nudge this out of that connector just enough to be able to get it out and not rip the <laughs> ribbon up at the top so it's very very delicate to do that and then we can flip that over and as you can see this is actually uh, stuck down with some double stick tape so you have to be very careful of that piece because um, that would be easily damaged um, if you just pop the, try to pop this thing straight up it's going to tear it right in half so you don't want to do that uh, the rest of this here, we have a, a little clip here. So I'm just going to try to nudge that clip backwards and lift the board up a little bit. And then we're going to have another clip over on this side that holds the board down. And we'll try to wedge that up there. And then we can actually pull the board straight up. Now, I still need to unsolder these wires, so let me do that now. Get back and and frame here and try to move it back some so I can zoom in a little bit it'll probably be easier to unsolder these wires before you mess with taking that board out just so it won't move around on you And these just go to the speakers. These are marked positive and negative, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll put it in the description, but this is a, a uh, Fire HD, which, and it's the eighth generation. Um, just so you know. Okay, we have our camera here. And we have our USB port right here. There's some really small little, um, I think those are coils, actually. Some chokes. And we have our damaged connector. 
it's hard to see on the camera it won't really doesn't want to focus in on it but we're going to have to desolder this connector and replace it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some more kapton tape over this area to try to protect it um, because we have everything is so close here um, i'm going to try to cover some of this up to help from getting too much heat in this area i'm going to use a uh, hot air um, rework station that i got off amazon and it's um it's actually not a real high-end unit or anything it's a uh a cheapy but let me get some uh cover some tape on that and then i'll get back here okay i got my uh, kapton tape on here kind of layered it up to help protect now what i'm going to do is um the actual connector here i'm going to try to get as much solder off that as i can so we're just heating up the uh the pens at the base here so for that i'm going to use my other desoldering iron And there we go. Out with the old. You can see we've got the uh, pens in good shape there. Nothing's lifted off the board. 
Now you can also see why I put that tape on there because you <laughs> you don't want to fry everything else around it. Now what I am going to do is hit that board with a little bit of regular solder because I have no idea what kind of solder they used and I'm sure it's probably lead free and I use leaded solder so I'm gonna use a little bit of it to clean the pads up and then kinda wick it back off with some solder braid I'll try to get just enough solder on there to where I can melt it back in when I put the new part in. I really need a smaller soldering iron tip for uh, that, but looks pretty good I got uh, got some good amount of solder on there to be able to put the new part back in with and I got this the new parts from Amazon try to leave a, a link in the description for that Oh, look at that. Boy, these things are tiny, aren't they? All right, I got my board raised up on something metal here so I can uh, apply the heat that I'm going to need to push down and get this piece back in. I'm just going to wait for the temperature to go up. And once I solder the uh, small pins in the back of it, then I will um, solder the rest of it in with the regular iron. got that part in sorry for the uh, strange angle there but I think we've got it okay can't really get a good angle on it with this camera but I'm gonna go ahead and solder the uh, the other pieces in now Get a little bit of flux on here. I need a little bit more heat here. I'm this board is acting and the connector is acting kind of like a heat sink, so. there it looks pretty good now you probably can't see it on the camera there but uh, I think it's the color of the, the background here it's not helping 
see if I can zoom in some there. Yeah, it looks a little bit better there. All right, well, let me move back out here and I'm gonna get my Kapton tape off. And use that to protect everything underneath. And as you can see, that tape uh, really works. Uh, it didn't, didn't melt anything here. Um, all the pieces are still there, all the tiny little uh, choke coils and resistors and things. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing back together and uh, see how it works. All right, we're just going to do this in reverse order, putting it back together. And this board kind of hooks into this edge here. Hooks in there and then lays down and then clips in. And there's the, uh, the clips. There's one here. And don't do what I just did and accidentally clip your board down on top of one of the flat flex wires. <laughs> I just noticed that. that second clip right there and here's this piece that uh, need to be very careful with I'm not sure exactly why they designed it that way and just kind of stick it back down and get this ribbon in Flip my connector back open here. There we go. Flip that back down. Same deal with this one. Keeps wanting to close up on me. They've got this little white line on these uh, connectors, and what that is is that pretty much shows when it's flush with the edge of the connector, that shows you um, that the ribbon is, is in all the way. I'm not going to connect the battery up yet because I do have to put the screws back in, and I'm going to go ahead and solder these uh, speakers back on first. Let's see if I can... Zoom back in for you to show you the uh, speaker connections. And a little bit of flux here. This is a lot like the the wires in my uh, DeLorean stereo video. Except there's only four here, and there was a whole bunch of them in the other video. It's hard to get these wires to the spot where you need them. Almost need a different angle here. Notice how this, um, that's the lead-free solder that does not uh, cool off. It looks like a cold solder joint, but it's really not. The uh, lead helps it uh, cool off with a, a nice and shiny joint, but the, uh, the leaded solder, a lot of times, that's how you can tell if it's leaded solder because it just doesn't... Uh, doesn't look very good, but it's okay. There's no need to get rid of all the solder just to solder those back on. Of course, if you saw my other video with the uh, 
the car stereo those were nice and uh, shiny when I was done because they didn't use lead-free solder back then And the last thing I'm going to do is connect the battery that way. You don't want to touch anything that doesn't need to be touched while the battery's uh, hooked up. Oh, I almost forgot. Where is it? It's up here somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hook our battery back up here. Boy, that screen is really dirty, isn't it? And let me grab a charger. Might as well test the uh, charger before I Put it all back together. And it says Amazon. Boy, I'm really going to have to wipe this screen down. It was pretty dirty when I started, but handling it like that is terrible. Oh. I'm not going to watch, let, make you watch all that booting up, so hold on. Okay, I still need to clean the screen off, but um, just wanted to show you here that it is charging. Yeah, I think it had, well, 4%. That's not very much. Hit that little switch again there. Yep. Well, only thing I have to do now is just put the back back on it and that's about it and of course this goes back on just like we uh, took it off there you do need to make sure you get the connector I would usually put that one on first that and the uh, side buttons just to make sure you don't catch them when you're snapping it back in but there's not a whole lot to it. Oh, we got a camera going there. <laughs> yep. You can see it's at 4% again. We'll plug it back in here. Well, I can't believe how dirty that screen is. Yep. And we're charging again. Well, that's it for this video. And if you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. This is the uh, Fire HD 8th generation. I uh, don't know if there's too much information uh, out there online about it, really. But uh, the connectors are available. I'll put the, a link to those in the description. And um, thanks for watching.